Katie, and I'm going to talk about a way of improving our transportation system to make it more renewable, greener, produce less pollution, and it can lead to energy independence. Well, what's our current state? The U.S. has high energy needs, and we meet those needs with petroleum-based fuels, such as gasoline. However, these fuels also cause pollution, releasing carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, particulates, and sulfur oxides into the environment. Plus, the U.S. must import 13.47 million barrels of oil each day, making us dependent on other nations and costing us hundreds of billions of dollars each year. There are some alternatives, and each of these has significant downsides, but I don't have time to get into them in a two-minute talk. Is there a better way? Yes! Ammonia! This represents an ammonia molecule, consisting of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. Ammonia can be used as a fuel, and is simply made from air, water, renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar power. How can we get ammonia? Let's look at the chemical reaction. Three molecules of hydrogen combined with one molecule of nitrogen to yield two molecules of ammonia. We have a plentiful supply of nitrogen here around us, which is 78% nitrogen. We have a plentiful supply of hydrogen in our water. This top chart shows a process of generating ammonia using renewable energy. Internal combustion engines can be easily converted to run on ammonia. Let's look at the chemical reaction. Ammonia reacts with oxygen to yield nitrogen gas plus water vapor plus energy in an exothermic reaction. Notice. No pollutants, no carbon impact. What could be better? So here's the ammonia fuel cycle. It's renewable, non-polluting, and leads to energy independence.